Lee Farm Guy here, and this is the Linder Unitrack Electro Pack by MTL Modding Team on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map for this uh, quite extensive pack of uh, Unitrack and attachments, and we'll go through each one of them uh, one by one and show you how they work. And if they work, yes, they work. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, where do we start? This is 51.68 megabytes to download. Uh, slot counts range from 13 slots for the truck itself, then uh, six, nine, be between five and nine slots for the attachments. And we have quite a number of attachments with this pack. Um, so let's start first by getting our help window on and looking at where we'll find the truck uh, vehicles and miscellaneous that's where you get the truck itself hundred and fifty three thousand dollars 122 horsepower or 160 kilowatt uh, hour that's the battery 160 kilowatt hour battery cvt transmission 32 miles per hour top speed we have some um options trailborg and midas uh trailborg we have twins wide twins uh, narrow and then standard and then in Midas we have twins and standard I would go with the trailer burg it doesn't cost you any money nice uh, fenders so that's the rear fenders plastic or metal or no beacon light none both light right, left or right LED left or right or both. No charge there. Attacher standard or a front three point. Semi trailer uh, attacher or both. Five grand for that. Main color we have a, a few custom colors orange and green. And let's see, black. And then um, if you go with the Giants palette, it's a thousand dollars. Original design color, that's your roof color, thousand dollars there, or no dollars if you go there. Fender color, zero dollars. Rim color, well, I gotta make something pink, thousand dollars there. And a license plate, front and rear if you so choose right so let's uh let's jump into one of these uh yes they are electric so they are very quiet <clears throat> interior very nice l1 r1 L1 and R1. L1 and R1 is where all the magic happens. Left stick, left and right opens your driver's door. Right stick, right and left opens the passenger door. Lights. I do believe I have one with... Uh... Let's see. I have a lot of them because there's a lot of attachments. Let me see. Which one has the beacons? Uh, this one. Right, so let's start with the, uh, actually right here. Also with this comes a charging station under uh, buildings and tools. There we go. $5,000 for a charging station. Uh, fast charging, but more expensive. Just so you know, that's the description. How expensive? I, I have no idea. Um, more expensive than the base game one, I'm guessing, uh, but charges faster. So there you go. Um, let's see here. Okay, so accessories. Let's start with the slurry tanks, which I am going to demonstrate right now. You'll find them under slurry tanks, and there is just one of them, 3,200 liters, 5 to 10 meters spread width, depending on which option nine mile per hour working speed digestate and slurry S uh, so we have this is it here 
you have a spreader plate that spreads at 10 meters we have a drag hose for fourteen thousand dollar extra and let's see you get to change the color on something and i'm guessing it's it's the the pump uh drag hose at eight meters at nine miles per hour so we got 10 meter eight meter nine miles per hour and then the swivel distributor five meters uh nine miles per hour we have one of each of these uh here first of all the uh distributor and uh that basically is simply just that uh the tanks are fairly small I'm not going to show each one of them turning around. They all turn around fine. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just do this one because they all kind of do it the same way. So let's show you this one at the very beginning here. You can say they all work very good. I didn't find any issues with any of them so far. We have uh, we have a uh, we have one that will just uh, give it a shot. I haven't tested yet, but I don't expect. So that's the turnaround. It's it's quite a uh, quite civilized, as it were. Now, that's the uh, spreader configuration. If we come over here, this is the drag hose configuration. And uh, L1 and X unfolds it. And when you place it down, it starts activating and workers. No problem with the workers, as I said. Um, it uh, anything with digestate or slurry, it kind of runs out pretty quick. There is also the option to double applicate, if you wish. Now, this is um, this is the only one, the only um, slurry or digestate spreader that will not work with a uh, with a helper now these are all detachable you don't have to have a separate truck i just bought a bunch of separate trucks just to show you easier to show you you back up to them and attach them like so so that's the same with every single one of these attachments now this l1 and right stick left and right you can adjust the uh the spray on this and we'll turn it on and we'll show you just the range of movement now uh, this is uh, a, I, I'm sure this is a real thing in the real world um, so you have it here if you prefer this and 10 10 miles per hour um, so it doesn't swing it doesn't uh, if you try to hire a worker that does this so just so you know uh, this is strictly a manually operated uh, configuration. Now, moving on to, uh, let's go with the manure spreader. And again, same way, you back up and attach it. It will fill, will fill up at any where you get manure from. Say, for instance, a buy point. Now it does have uh, a fold, that is how you get it folded like this, L1 and X unfolds it. Where do you find this? Well, under manure spreaders, there it is, $20,000, 3,400 liter capacity, 12 meter working width at nine miles per hour, manure only. And uh, this one is a side, uh, let's, let's turn around here and go this way a side discharge style and he's likely going to turn left yes so he does a little bit of oh no he's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna go well he's gonna go this way which is fine you never know which way these guys are gonna go but no missing no missing spots and I would say fairly efficient in um, in the turning around and everything so and the coverage no overlap no missed bits so that is 
the manure spreader if we move on uh, we'll leave the forage wagon to second to last maybe this is the tipper now this is uh, going to be found under tools and miscellaneous and there it is the platform it's called $2,500 2,000 liter capacity of every bulk crop um, so we have a choice here platform we have come on a platform with a three-point link or a three-point link only so we got this one and uh, the color choices are all the colors thousand dollars to change the color now um, you can put the sides down if you want to load it with uh, bales if you so choose R1 and there's a couple of tension belts you can also fill it with uh, whatever bulk items you wish to put in there even uh, even stones and no problem carrying the stones it's only 2,000 liters so it's not like it's a whole bunch of weight in there and uh, so uh, L1, L1 and R1. Yeah, see, if you got stuff in there, see, this, these guys are smart. A lot of other mods would still let me open the sides with stuff in there. And, uh, and kudos to, to the MTL modding team. You see, I do not have that option anymore. Now, let's go and empty it. empties out the back it's a tipper just like so and there we go and do we have it back again yes look at that we can lower the sides again so that these guys were thinking <laughs> kudos to you guys for sure right so that's the tipper now uh, there's not a whole lot to show with this but um, the front has an option for a three-point. We showed that. We have one of our trucks here with a three-point link. There it is. So you can have a three-point on the front. And if you want a three-point on the back, uh, you pretty much have to get this unit here. It does have a hitch. But if you want the three-point on the back, that's this is the one. This is the attachment you get to attach the three-point link. Now... I do want to try something before I forget. We will show you. So you see the the, the uh, fifth wheel attachment. That's uh, to attach a, a semi trailer. Now this is obviously a bit big. Now, there's likely smaller trailers out there that would be more suitable for this, but it's it's nice to have if you just want to have a little yard. Uh, a yard truck to move stuff around but what I wanted to see is if you with the the uh, fifth wheel on there will it yes it will so even if you have the fifth wheel attachment you can use use it for um, for other things let's see if it's going to interfere let's pull this one ahead this is the last one this is the, uh, uh, nope, not there. We're going to go here in forage wagons. There it is. 12,000 liter capacity, 10 miles per hour. Uh, all your forage type items, $21,500 to purchase. We have color options. Frame. Cover. And the disguise. <laughs> That's an interesting, I think that's, um, I'm guessing that's a uh, translation, um, a translation, missed translation, disguise, although <clears throat> I do like kind of having it as a disguise. Excuse me, I'm back. Right, so, um, let's hop in. 
Is this the one? Yes. Okay. So let's hook this up and we got a little bit of straw over there. We're going to pick up straw with it. And yeah, that fifth wheel does not look like it's interfering with anything, which is really nice that we can have that as well. Right. So L1 and circle lowers the pickup. Turn it on. And drive forward. Very nice. And see, animation looks good. Pretty cute. Obviously, again, as I said, uh, really designed for small farms. And uh, something like this would be a multi use. Um, unit with the three-point link on the back you could probably do some uh, farm work with it there we go and it is full now how do we empty it uh, da -da -da -da, unload here and voila very nice let's uh, let's turn off the the hazard lights shall we or shall I say the beacons? And there it is. So, a nice little bit of kit, as Mr. Sealy P would say. Maybe not exactly like that, but something like that. There you go. That's, uh, if you like these little critters, that's pretty much everything you need with this pack. And that's the Linder Unitrack Electro Pack with Charger. On Farming Simulator 22, it's by the MTL modding team. Thank you all for watching, and remember, it's only a game. So, till the next one, bye for now.